Cloudflare as a service helps the internet stay online, but when its own captures stop working, you can be in a load of trouble. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candid Technology, and in this video, we are talking about how you can fix Cloudflare captures not working. There are a number of reasons why your Cloudflare captures might stop working. And the first reason is a malware infestation. So to fix that, we're going to run a malware scan on our PC. Uh, go ahead and press the start menu and search for uh, Windows security or whatever antivirus you use. I'm just going to use Windows security because that seems to work good enough. Head over to virus and threat protection and just run a quick scan right here. Click on the quick scan, let it run. It's going to scan through all of your files. And if there is a malware infestation, chances are it will find it. If it doesn't find anything and you keep running into the error, you can run a deep scan as well to see if there are any other problems with your PC. Another reason which can hamper your connectivity on the internet is that your windows date and time are not up to the mark. So here's how you can fix it. Press windows key plus I to open windows settings. And I'm just going to search for time. In here, click on the change date and time settings. And now you'll have a few options. Now you can see that set time automatically setting is already set to on on my PC. Uh, so time zone and time both are automatically enabled. And now if they are out of sync on your PC, you can just use this sync now button right here to sync this with uh, Windows time servers and that should fix your time properly. Uh, if your time is up to date, you should not face any issues syncing uh, Cloudflare captures or just accessing the internet in general. So make sure these sliders are all enabled and that you've synced your time with the Windows servers. Next up, corrupt browser data such as cookies or old cache files can also cause this problem. So we're going to go ahead and clear out our browser. So I'm using Chrome in, for this example. Just click on these three dots right here and in here click on the delete browsing data option so you can also use the control shift delete key for this in here uh, make sure that all time is selected in the date range include browsing history cookies and other site data cached images and files this one is important and once you're done setting everything up you can go ahead and delete data alternatively you can also work in the advanced tab if there is some data that you want to save for example, uh, browsing history, uh, while I recommend that you do delete this, it can uh, sort of go under the radar. So we'll just let browsing history be, download history, cookies, cached images and files. This is the more important thing. Uh, you can leave your passwords unchecked, autofill form data, site settings and hosted app data as well. Once everything is selected, go ahead and click the delete data button and then try the website again. If deleting the browser data did not fix the problem, what you can do is that you can also try and uh, completely rework your browser uh, so as to delete all the data or completely reset it from scratch. To do that, we're going to once again click on these three buttons and go ahead, click on settings at the very bottom. Now in here, I'm just going to search for reset and you will see this option restore settings to their original defaults. Just click on it, this dialog box will open up and now uh, this will show you what will happen. So it will reset some Chrome settings and Chrome shortcuts, disable extensions and delete cookies and other temporary site data. Essentially fixes everything in one go. So just go ahead and click on the reset settings button and then try the website again. The Cloudflare capture issue should be gone. Last but not least, if nothing else works and uh, you're still facing problems with Cloudflare captures, your best bet is to completely reinstall your browser. Now to do that, go ahead and close it. Right click the start menu icon right here and go ahead and select installed apps. Once this opens up, we'll give it a second to load. All right, now I'm going to search for Chrome in this list. I spelled that one. Yeah, as you can see, I have Google Chrome here. I'm going to click on these three dots right here and click on uninstall. It will ask you whether you want, are you sure that you want to uninstall it? This will be a small warning. Just go ahead and click the uninstall button again. Head over to Google's website using Edge or any other browser. 
re-download the Google Chrome client and then try accessing your websites again, the issue should be fixed. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below if we can make any more such content for you or if you have any thoughts on this video and I'll be there down talking to you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.